Irony and art. How can you use irony in your art? Well, um, part of using irony as a Gen Z artist or as someone who's trying to communicate with young people, the irony is sort of a code that we allow people to get in on our level when we're communicating artistically. The message sort of needs to be wrapped in irony for a lot of people in Gen Z to swallow the message because we're very critical, we're very skeptical of things. Now, I've got Joshua Citarella here. And um, now, uh, I feel that this Gen Z artistic communication, trying to like use irony to communicate with people, um, it's, uh, it's kind of a trope. Like, we need to do this in order to get the Gen Z people to listen to us. Um, I would agree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I feel this even with myself, like trying to do an art series. Every thought that I have, um, trying to pause at anything, is difficult. It's like, why should I even try to bother making a series about art, say? Because um, most people, I'm skeptical of myself when I'm trying to say things and pause at things about art, because um, art is, you know, it's difficult. And, and, and the people who are watching me are probably thinking, well, what's, what's this? What's this for? Is there gonna be a pitch at the end of this? Is he trying to like fashion himself as a guru? You know, so what do you think? I, I was an art teacher. I was an art teacher at a prestigious university. Two of them, actually, four of them uh, as an outside advisor. And um, I think the great irony is that you can teach people history, you can teach them politics, you can teach them theory, but you can't teach them how to make great art. You can't. Right, so the, the ultimate irony of this series is that uh, I, this cannot be taught. And um, I'm trying to teach something that cannot be taught. Uh, so, how That means you're doing a good job. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> you can't do it wrong. That means you're doing a good job. Excellent. You can't do it, so you can't do it wrong. Exactly. How liberating.